Yo, what's going on today, guys? Man, what's happening? So, um, moving on with uh, Fox Body Project. Y'all already saw all that. So, what I'm about to work on today is we're going to tap the turbo today. So, you know, if you know why I'm tapping it, then you know. If you don't, it's because I'm going to be running um a line one of these quick disconnect um lines for the um polyurethane i think um vacuum line it's like really strong it's better than rubber and all that other shit um i'm gonna be running down the whole setup um because i don't really want any boost leaks um if i could try to cut down on any future problems and shit um, i'm gonna try to do it right from the jump so I'm gonna tap into the turbo. I was gonna tap in to the housing like right here, but what I'm gonna do is obviously take this part of like the housing off. Let me see. There you go. Um gonna do that um well i'm gonna take it apart first to see like if it's if it's worth tapping here or i might just do my original plan and tap it here um because that's um uh, like that's the reason why this shit is here i'm noticing on a lot of turbos with people that uh tap them that's what this tab is for um so what i'm all i'm gonna do simply do is just um loosen up because it's got all these bolts under here so that you loosen them up and you could uh clock at least the the front part of the turbo because you could also i think i don't know if you could clock the rear nah you can't go and clock the front so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna look to see if it's even worth tapping here even though i started a center punch and if not then i'll just go with my original plan and i'll tap it here so i'll get back once uh this shit is out so that was a slight pain in the ass to do because all them bolts was like tight as shit. But here we are, we got the uh, front housing off. And where I'm looking at in there, in terms of where this is leading to, that looks like it's gonna take a whole lot of time to drill to and it's not gonna make any sense. So I'm pretty sure On3 did that because I found out that they don't, um. The warranty is gone on the turbo once you tap into it so i guess they really don't want you to tap into that shit but i don't really give a fuck so back to your uh, original plan i'm gonna tap into here which is fine by me because it's gonna be um a lot easier and um you're gonna get more direct airflow and shit so uh, that's that's uh pretty much fine by me i don't really care it's uh it's the original plan anyway so all I'm going to do is go grab some paper towels. I am going to have it seated um, on that. And then stuff some paper towels in there for um, in terms of the, um, you know, the metal shavings and shit. Don't want it really all up in there. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get that all set up. And yeah, I use the um, size 13. Um, no. 13 open end wrench so it was a bit of a bitch but it is what it is so i'm gonna go ahead and uh get the whole process set up and we're gonna be moving along <laughs> my workbench shit so here we are we're all set up i got the uh new hole punch done i mean um center punch focus for me focus for me oh thank you um yep and then just paper towel nothing crazy just get a good ball size and just stuff it in there um so i'm gonna start off i don't know the size of this bit i want to say it is a one eighth yeah i think it's a one eighth bit because then we're going to be working up to the uh, 1132 because these fittings is a um one eighth thread so the one eighth and uh tap right there so I already looked online and you know because I'm not good at math so thank god there's already people out there that know how to do it so we're gonna go ahead and get this going I'm gonna try to set up the camera to maybe time lapse this a little bit for y'all so you can see so 
power. So there we are. So now on to the fun part, the threading. So yeah, I'm um, using, trying to keep it nice and clean in terms of all this. This is like probably like the easiest and best drilling and tapping that I've had so far. And I'm just really happy about it. Um, also just using regular CRC. Uh, cutting oil because I really don't need to um, Break any more uh, drill bits and shit and I was just going like really slow like but this um This metal whatever the Housing is made out of it's um really easy to drill through so definitely take your time uh, Definitely take your time if you're gonna do this if you plan on tapping your on three um, turbo so all I'm simply gonna do now is just uh, switch out that put that in and now we're gonna go from there So there we have it. Um, so all I'm gonna do now is that, yeah, it got a little snug. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm not gonna use that angle, uh, that angle fitting. Um, I think I'm just gonna go, cause this little pack comes with a whole bunch of different ones. I think I'm just gonna go with the regular straight on in there. Here we go. So And then that's what I don't know if you can see it up in there. It ain't even really like breaching through or anything yet. So that's good. Two thousand years later. Let's 
Yeah, I think that's good. That's gonna be perfectly fine right there. So now I'm just gonna clean all this shit up. So I'm gonna clean all everything up. Um, get the turbo back together and uh, go from there. Then probably I don't feel like mess with the wastegate. <laughs> Cause with the plumbing, I think I'm gonna have the top. I'll just show you. Instead of having a boost line from the top, I'm gonna go from the side um and just have the top empty out to atmosphere when it comes to the boost controller um some shit i'm trying to read up on um i don't know if i'll do it today or later on down the road i don't know but um nah i'll probably just focus on the uh the turbo today we're doing this so i'm gonna go ahead and clean everything up put it back together and uh show you what it looks like so there we are here it is we'll put it back together i just um finger tightened all of the um the bolts that hold it together um and i'm pretty sure that's almost somewhat what the clocking needs to look like when it gets put on because of the intercooler um piping and shit but there we are and um yeah just to show you why like because uh with this let's see if i can get it to focus here if it can focus for me Man, this camera, dog. Like, if I could just get it to focus, that'd be perfect. There we go. So, the um, this quick next has got teeth on the inside that hold the vacuum line in place but they don't fully bite into the line to where it'll rip, strip, or anything. So that if you was to simply have to take the turbo off, or this piece off, or whatever the case may be, you, you, you know, the, the wastegate, the blow valve, because I'm running these connections on everything. Anything that needs a vacuum line for boost is getting these connections, because it's easy. And then the lines themselves are like really good. So that's what I saw. Some guy building his uh, Turbo Silverado. Um, he did that shit. So I took it as a good tip, and I'm doing it for myself too. So, but this how we look in. Uh, fully see on the inside. Ain't no metal shavings, and oh, well, I lied. Um, but that's the. Oh, is that some metal shavings in there? Oh shit, I think I might have got some in there. Ah, oh, damn. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Yeah. Definitely a couple in there. I'm trying to sit here and eyeball that shit from here. There we go. Alright, so that's cleaned out. So that's it, man. It's real simple. Tap that shit. So, still doing slight prep work. Um, might continue on to the um, inside of the uh, Fox body today and uh, try to get the rest of the uh, the weather lining out from driver and passenger side. Um, so, might be uh, getting that bit done up today. So, start chipping away at that shit. Hopefully, uh, it's like I don't. It's like me realizing what I went through here. How it took like two days. It's like, damn, I kind of don't want to go through it. But um, for my for my mental peace, I feel like I need to do it because, um, or else I feel like it's just not clean, organized. So, but yeah, that's it for today. At least this video. Um, might continue on doing something else, but so that's it.